What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Homebuilt Workshop. Today we got something a little bit different that I hope to keep doing more often. This episode is going to be a fixed episode where we are going to replace a missing vent for a barbecue grill. Stick around, check it out. I recently put out a video where I was talking about how I feel that we need to teach our children to repair and fix things instead of just throwing them away. And you guys asked for more of me showing you how I fix things because I mentioned in that video that I'm always fixing stuff. I'm gonna put a link to that video in the description. If you're a parent, please, please watch this video. We need to show our kids that you don't always just have to throw things away. So in that video, you guys asked for more of me showing you how I fix things. You guys asked for it. I'm going to try to do this a lot more often when I have a project. Even if it's the simplest thing, I wanna to try to film it. Even if it's a minute or two long, I wanna show you guys, bring you along for the ride. Most of the time, I don't intend these fixed projects to be very in-depth. It's just gonna be grabbing some sort of random materials, making whatever fix or repair or whatever it is we need to do. So I don't envision them really being all that long most of the time. So Let's jump right into this one. I have got this barbecue grill, it's missing a vent. This video is not about me throwing something away versus replacing it, but it is going to be about me making a new piece that is currently missing instead of having to go and order one special from the factory. So let's jump right in. I've got this drum style barbecue grill that has this little vent right here on the side. The other side is missing this one. So we need to replicate this fairly close so that we can replace the missing vent on the other side. So all this piece really is, is a thin, thin piece of sheet metal, probably stamped out on some sort of a press. We are not even going to make it as fancy as this. I just need something to cover up the holes that are on the grill and to be able to open and close it. I searched around, found a piece of sheet metal. It's a little bit heavier than this, but I think it's gonna work fine. I can still cut this with some sheet metal shears, so I think that's what we're gonna use. I'll begin by making a rough template on the back of a cereal box. Cereal boxes are great materials to keep on hand. I usually have two or three at least laying around that I can use for templates and other things like that. So next time you empty a box of cereal, break the box down and just stash it aside. You'll be surprised how many times this cardboard will come in handy. Plus we're talking about ways to reuse things instead of throw them away, right? Here's another one. And that is what we're going to cut out of sheet metal. That's all we're going to do. We'll drill a hole in the center, bolt it on, it'll work perfect. Now I'll just trace my cardboard template onto the sheet metal. Bam! Now it's just a matter of cutting out that shape using some tin snips. This was actually a little bit challenging. I think this sheet metal is just a little too thick for the shears that I have. Ah, uh, man, this is a little, a little much for these. We'll try these. There we go. Just got a little bit of cleanup to do. Kind of bend it back into shape. It is not gonna be super pretty. It's gonna be completely functional, but that is what these fixed videos are gonna be about. Just fixing things with stuff that we have on hand, not really planning out fancy elaborate projects by any means. Just take what you have, make a quick fix, move on. Now I'll just do a little bit of quick cleanup on the belt grinder. This could just as easily be done with a file and some sandpaper. We just want to remove the sharp edges. So there's our part all ready to install. Is it a little different from the original? Yes, it is, but it's going to work just fine. Let's go get it installed. Since the style of this vent is different than the original, I'm gonna install this with a bolt and a jam nut. That way the jam nuts can lock against each other and I can set the tension of the vent. So there it is, that quick, this project is done. This thing probably took me about an hour and that is 
working around the camera and everything in all actuality it probably took me only about 30 minutes to get this done get it installed and move on to something else i want to say thank you so much to all of you I had so much wonderful feedback on that video that I posted about teaching our kids. Thank you guys so much. And I also wanna say thank you guys for inspiring me to share more of the things that I fix. Because I do, like I said, I fix stuff all the time. So thank you guys for encouraging me to show more of this process. So I will continue to do that as much as I can. So thank you guys so much, I really appreciate it. If there's something specific maybe that you would like me to try to fix, something you want me to tackle, let me know, we can figure out how to work that out. Thanks a lot for watching guys and thank you for your support. We'll see you next time. This is the worst marker I've ever used. Keep it down over there.